So let's ask a couple of these questions. Let's let's talk about what we do. So first question, how selective are you about what you allow to enter your body? What do you see? Like, what are you watching, right? What do you hear? What are you listening to? Because your eye gate and your ear gate matter. What we allow into our bodies can enter in a number of different ways. So that's the first level, right? But yes, I'm gonna go there. Let's go a little bit deeper. Who are you allowing to enter your body? I'm just gonna keep it real because we gotta talk about it. Y'all, we gotta talk about it. Who are you allowing? Because the only person who is allowed to enter your body is your husband if you are a married woman, right? But God says, I want you to obey. I want you to pay attention to my word because I want to bring you into blessing. I want you to be aware of what you have entering your body, of who is entering your body, because your body is a temple. There's a certain reverence. There's a certain level of content, level of music, level of shows that you might watch, series that you might take in. There's a certain level of what you are supposed to read. There's a certain level of of what you are supposed to digest if your body is a holy place. Just like people wouldn't run up into that temple, that cathedral that I was walking through in New York, you won't, you shouldn't, right? But some, some of us have in the past, right? I will just speak for myself. I have in the past not been intentional about what I allow to enter my body, about who I allow to enter my body. There should be some rules. There should be some regulations. There should be some, there should be some restrictions, some rules, some regulations, some restrictions. There should be a couple of things that get checked off before I take it in. If I am someone who is saying that I'm a follower of Christ, if I'm someone who's saying that I'm a woman who is keeping Christ in the same center. If I understand that there's a connection between who I allow into and around me and what God has for me in terms of fulfilling my purpose, there's a connection. It's not separated. You can't say, well, this bucket over here is going to be pure and holy, but this bucket over here is going to be defiled because you are one bucket. So what you put in, if there's a little bit that is defiled, it defiles the the entire thing, right? But thanks be unto God who gives us grace, who sees after us, who looks after us and knows that we are human and that we have certain frailties. But at the same time, at the same time, he's also given us a certain commandment. He's also set out a certain expectation. So yes, while he will forgive the things that we may have done in the past that defiled our bodies, he also says, once you understand what we're doing here, I need for you to grasp onto it and I need for you to internalize it. I need for you to take it into your heart. So we have to develop some selectivity. We have to start being intentional. We have to start paying attention to how we take care of our bodies. 